Alright, hey guys, this is Apple Fanatic here, making a quick video on the latest release of Snowbreeze. Um, for a lot of people, they've been running into error 40, um, error 40 when they're trying to restall, or not restall, but install new firmware onto the iPad, I mean iPod or iPhone. Um, and today, two hours ago, Snowbreeze 2 point, version 2.0.2 was released to the public. Um, this is going to help you with error 14 error, errors such as that. Um, what you're going to need in order to do this is a Windows computer. If you have a Mac, check out my other video on jailbreaking for Red Snow. Um, hold on, let me shut this down for a second. Um, you're going to need this. You're going to need iPod firmware 2.1. If you for, for, for iPod 2 or iPod firmware for the iPod Touch 2G, iPod Touch 3G. 3G is a untethered. So every time you shut your iPod off, you're going to have to connect it to your computer, restart it, or the iPod Touch first generation. This works for iPhone 3G, iPhone 2G, and the same thing for the 3GS as the iPod Touch 3G. If you plug it in, you're going to have to re-plug it back. If you shut it down, you're going to have to re-plug it back into your computer every time. Um, so let's open up the uh, file. I just did a, a fresh restore of 2.4.1 on my iPod. I'll just show you. Um, and um, the Red Snow Snowbreeze will work for um, any version of 4.0 along with any version of 3.1. So if you have a 3.1.2 or a 3.1.3 and then a, a version of anything like that, it will be fine to jailbreak. So there you go, 4.1. Um, so you're going to want to run this as an administrator. So you're going to hit OK, and you see it's version 2.0.2. Um, make sure you have all your files ready. Um, extra mode and simple mode, if you really don't know what you're doing, I'd just simple mode. If you don't really know what you're doing, it doesn't really make a difference because it's not like expert extra mode. Um, so technically, if you don't know what you're doing, you could still do extra mode. It's just simple mode kind of makes it easier for the normal user to just do it without having any really saying what is added. So you're going to hit next and then you're going to want to browse for your IPSW. Your IPSW will be the file that I told you to download earlier. Um, you can get it off of felixbrun.com if you'd like. So I'm going to boot camp. Um, as I just go to my desktop. <laughs> just kidding guys. Uh, where is my desktop? There we go. Desktop. Scroll down. Um, and here you go. This was a firmware I made two days ago for a video I attempted to make, but I kept erroring out of error at 40. So I'm going to try to make this one. And I tried everything. I tried IREB. I tried a tiny umbrella with IREB, different variations, and it just would not work. So I went up and said to my, my actual Windows, Windows computers. I'm running this on my uh, MacBook. And it still wouldn't work. So I just waited for them to release this error. Um, a lot of people have gotten this error and error 40 and error 17 that is and um, it's just a iTunes restore error. Um, Alright so back to the video or back to what I'm doing. Um, so you want to select your device, hit open and it's going to process it and find it. Alright so you're going to get this notice it says is your iPod touch a 2G or 3G. Um, Basically, if it's telling you what I told you earlier. If it's a 2G, it's not going to be um, untethered. I mean, it's going to be untethered, and you won't need a PC to boot. As you can see right there. However, if it's a 3G, you'll need a PC to boot. Um, you can check that by going to right here. Settings. This is my second gen. About. There you go. MB5311, or LL, rather. So if it's an MB there, you want to click MB, and if it's MC, hit MBC. So next you're going to hit next, and then this is where you can add your goodies. Um, I'm going to enable background multitask. Um, I'm not going to do multitask. I'll do multitasking for the sake of the video, but I don't generally use it just because um, I don't need it. Next. Next. I feel like multitasking kills the battery. Um... That's weird. Let's see if I can click. 
In 4.0.1, they gave you a uh, choice for verbose mode, so apparently you don't get that choice. So I'm just going to use the custom recovery for both of them, and then I'm going to hit build IPSW. Um, and this process will take a couple minutes, so um, I'm going to wait for it to take. Um, I'm going to cut the video here, and when it starts up again, I will be back. So for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace.